Looks like Tammy Castine will have the honors. It's senior night, February 10th, 2023 at Northeastern Clinton Central School. Going for a varsity boys basketball game, San Jose Central Chiefs, visiting the Cougars. All right, good evening. How is everybody doing? How are you? Excited? All right, so thank you for attending this evening. We'd like to start off welcoming and acknowledging our youth commission, our youth league basketball team. So these look around as they come out, they are the future of our NCCS family basketball. So, All right, we're gonna start with grades three and four. So we're gonna start with Champlain and the youth commissioner for Champlain is Kim McGoldrick. So thank you, Kim. And we're gonna start with the third and fourth grade Spartan. So Kim is also the coach, and I will go through the roster. So Carson Nashtar. <laughs> Levi Fram. Keith <laughs> Bullock. <laughs> Braden Beer. <laughs> Lucas St. Dennis. Xavier St. Dennis, Aiden Barrett, coached by Kim McGoldrick, the Champlain Spartans. All right, next we have the third and fourth grade boys team, the Rockets Point Kings, coached by Casey Greeno and Zara Greeno. Jacob Bellardo. Joshua Martin. <laughs> Levi Tedford. <laughs> Liam Bernard. <laughs> Nicholas Gay. For more. We have one team that was not able to attend. Let me just uh, make sure I can do that. All right, Moore's Rebels, um, coached by Michelle Deepak, is not able to be here tonight, but just recognizing that they're part of this team. All right, we're moving on to Moore's third and fourth grade team, Moose Squad. <laughs> by Cassandra Dragoon and Keith Dushan. Oh. Okay, for the Moose Squad, we have Colton Dragoon. Oh. Luke Cornell. Oh. Landon Zinn. Oh. Paxton Deep. Oliver Leonor, Porter 
You could feel the energy from everyone when we took second place at cheer competition this past weekend. So I would like to thank my teammates for making this the best experience to end my high school cheerleading season. I would like to thank Coach Marcy for pushing us to be our best and making us try new things so that we would look good when we hit the mats. Also for believing in me that I could do it. I would also like to thank Andrea for going through this last year with me. I couldn't do it without you. Thanks for listening to me vent when I needed it. I would also like to thank my mom and dad for always supporting me, even though you never thought I was a cheerleading type, and always listening to me complaining about practice and how I swore I am and how poor I am after practice. I would also like to thank my grandmother, even though she can't be here tonight, for always being there for me and telling me that I can do it. I know she's watching over me. Okay, our next cheer senior is Andrea Depot, daughter of Billy Joe Depot and Andy McDonald. When I first started cheer in ninth grade, I always thought my senior year was so far away. My ninth grade was my first year in the competition, and that's when I knew I really do love cheerleading, and I was excited to continue my high school years as a cheerleader. First, I want to say thank you to my parents who have always supported me through my cheering years and always asked me on the way home how practice was, knowing I was going to talk about it the whole car ride home. I also want to thank my best friend, Brianna Spore, for always trying to make it to every game and letting me rant to her about cheer-related things. Even though she didn't understand, she still listened. I would also like to thank Marcy for giving me the captain position my last year before I graduate. It really means a lot. Also, thank you for pushing me to do my very best, even when I didn't think I could. Now I'm going to thank Steph for being there for many practices and helping me improve as a flyer by telling me what I'm doing wrong and how to fix it. Also, those sparkle brownies are the best. I'm really going to miss those. Last but not least, Sarah. She was my coach for my first two years of cheering, and she couldn't remember my name for the longest time. She always called me Amanda. Sarah really pushed me to do my best as a cheerleader, and that really helped me get to where I am today. Also to my team, I am beyond proud of all of you. Placing second place at competition was really great. I am glad to have such a great team this year. Okay, next we'd like to take a few moments to honor our basketball seniors. So first, I'd like to acknowledge Saranac Chief Seniors, Derek Kiroy, Corbin Cranford, Gabe Spalding. <laughs> Sebastian Dandro Pellerin. <laughs> All right, and next we're going to honor our NCCS seniors. So we have two seniors this evening. We're going to start with Stevie Darrow. <laughs> I never thought this night would come, and there's so much to say. These last four years have been such an amazing experience. Basketball's been my life ever since third grade. I can still remember begging my parents to sign me up for it, and then going to my first practice, 
I've been in love with it ever since. I want to thank my mom and dad for always being at my game, cheering me on from the sidelines, no matter how far away it was. I love you guys for that. Emma, you are my rock, and I can't thank you enough for always being by my side through thick and thin, and for all your endless support throughout my varsity career. I love you. I'd like to thank all of my past coaches for teaching me the fundamentals and how to win and lose the right way. To Coach Botton, Bouye, Mason, and Dawson, you guys have spent many hours in the gym with us for the past few years, get, getting us ready for big games. I know the team, and I really appreciate it more than you know. Thank you both, or thank you to both of my sisters for all of the support through the years and being as engaged as you can. A huge thank you to Ashley, especially for all of your hard work you put into this evening to make sure Evan and I have the best senior night possible. I love you guys. Kevin, I want to say thank you so much for coming to all of my games. Coach Connell, you took a chance on me my freshman year and moved me up to varsity, and I've never had a warmer welcome than coming into that practice and I just felt like I belonged. You believed in our teams, even when the odds were stacked against. You taught me life lessons that I'll never forget, and I don't think you really know how much that means to me. Evan, we've been playing together forever, and there's nothing I'm going to miss more than playing on the same court as you and seeing that huge smile when I walk into the gym every day. You are not just my teammate, you are my brother. To the rest of the team, I wish you guys the best of luck next season, and I will be back to help coach you boys. To my nephew, Luke, I want you to carry on the number 34 and keep it in the family. I know you'll do great things. I love you. Now out to my Cougar, or my Cougar, sorry, I don't want to miss that last line up. Now out to my Cougar Nation 34. Out. program uh, only a total of four seniors and <laughs> we had uh, ten seniors we'd be here for a couple hours probably oh we got a ball game coming up don't go away
Calvin Castine at Northeastern Clinton Central School. We don't have much of a voice, so we'll be a man of few words again tonight. Saranac Chiefs at Northeastern Clinton. Uh, quickly for the Cougars, coached by Luke Connell. It's uh, Jordan Brown, two, Sam Prairie, three. Josh Sisko, 10, Grady Biller, 13, Kyle Marshall, uh, 22, Logan Magoon, 23, Colton Castine, 24, Evan Manor, 33, Stephen Garrow, 34. We have uh, time, we'll read the 15-man roster for Saranac. Brown gets the scoring going. 10th day of February, 2023. Senior night, uh, we saw it on Facebook, nobody from the school bothered to get a hold of, hold of us, so we were scheduled to be at Shay Z, but uh, Thankfully, we got Sarah Gagno and Lee Barkholm covering that for us. First foul of the game is on Evan Manoy. This is Lucas Pierce at the line for the Chiefs. So thanks to uh, Sarah Gagno and uh, Lee Barkholm for covering the senior night thing at uh, Shay Z. Sarah had contacted me. And as I said, nobody from Northeastern had contacted me regarding senior night here. We missed the girls. So week and a half ago because uh, nobody had contacted us in this girls senior night. We're down cast time. Travel. Oh, and a call foul. All right, for uh, Mike Recor's team, he's assisted by Dan Munson. Ben Benjamin Yanilovich is number zero. Caswell McCoy, two. Keegan Precor is three. Gabriel Kaye is five. This is Carson Duffield at the line. Foul was on Garrow, his first. Uh, let's see. Uh, Corbin Cranford, 11, Bryce D'Angelo, 12, Sebastian Dandro Pellerin. What's the call? Uh, so Sebastian Dandro Pellerin, 13, James Bova, 14, Jordan Spear, or Jaden Spear, 15, Gabriel Spalding is 21, Lucas Pierce, 23, Caden Clark, 24, Garrett Keroy. 32, Zachary Lucia, 33, Carson Duffield, 40. Fell in, and I'll tell you for sure who shot it. Manor and Castine were both in the vicinity. Three down Castine. 4-3 Cougars, 6-14 to go, first period. Makes it 5-4, Saranac. Prairie penetrates. Now a shot rolls the rim. It'll be red ball. Holding cast time. Look out. 
Oh, his own bushy in that corner. Cougars ought to reserve a, a safe place for them when they, they know they're going to be here. Five to go in the first quarter. Turn around. Oh, foul. Foul call. On Garrow, it'll be a second. Uh, Magoon in Magaro. The field freshman. Four forty seven showing first quarter. We're tied. That's kind of brown. We're tied eight eight. Knocked loose by Prairie. steal and knock to the floor on the shot. He'll shoot two. The foul is on Cranford. First foul on Saranac. Cougars have three. Three fifty nine showing in the first. We're still tied. Foul shots will come back and haunt you in a close game. Those missed foul shots. Stanford knocks it out of bounds. Shot. A cool player from many, many years ago, Matt Delarno, was an outstanding outside shooter. This is well before the days of the three point shots. But if he missed it, he was the guy who got the rebound. He was an excellent shooter, but he didn't take it for granted. He followed that shot and he got. Most of those rebounds. Missed by McCoy, rebounded by Manor. We're at 308 here in the first.
Still 8 8, 246 to go. Nice quarter. Brown knocking it loose. Picked up Manor. Rebound thrown up by Magoon. Magoon again. Castine keeps it alive and he is fouled. Foul on Duffield, his first, team second. Shooting two. And we got uh, D'Angelo in. We'll make it nine, eight. I'm not sure if that was Duffield or D'Angelo. He just turned it over, 10-9, Saranac. Owen Castine is knocked to the floor, no call. And second foul on Cranford. Prairie's put the Cougars up by a point. Chance to double that lead. Cougars gonna have to spend some time at the foul line next practice. Chiefs keep it. Magoon trying to save it. 132 to go. Quarters 11, Saranac 10. First quarter. And Duffield. Hard to stop him underneath. 12 11. Manor tried to bounce it off Duffield, but no luck. One minute. 12 11, Serenac. Travel or foul? Hold. You don't have to be left handed to work the Cougar books, but it helps. 53.7. Getting it to Prairie, tries to find Castine in a bunch of red shirts. Round the Magoo and count. Foul on Dandro Pellerin is first. Team fourth. Another missed foul shot for the Cougars. They lead 13 12. If they made half their foul shots, they'd be up by four or five. Wall to wall, no 
coast to coast. That'll do it for the first period. It's 15-12. Cougars after one here on viewer-supported local television hometown cable. Three-point lead and the ball to start the second quarter. No double dribble. That's uh, Cisco in there, Josh Cisco, number ten. Duffield. <laughs> well, Duffield will go to the line. Fouls on Cisco. Thirteen now. Nice one. Let's go. Almost stolen by Brown. Seventeen, thirteen Cougars. Six, 13 Cougars up by six. Not close. Stolen pushed up ahead for Brown. Lost control of it. And we have a foul on Magoon. To lose control of it underneath like that, your best thing to do is just to uh, bring it out. That play is over. Bring it out and set up something else. So we got Manor and Garrow back in. The foul was on Magoon. Duffield hits the first. Nineteen fifteen. Field with a block. 
Rebound Manor, 5.54 to go, first half. In and out, rebound Garrow. Brown throws it up, top of the team. 21-15. The bucket for Duffield. 21 17. Yeah. Three pointer. 24 17. 509. with the rebound. He does a nice job in the trees getting those rebounds. Putting up a lot of inches out there, rebounded by Pierce. D'Angelo. 3.36 to go and a half, 29-22 Cougars. Almost had to steal. Three eleven. Back to an five. Blocked by Pierce. No, by uh, 
D'Angelo. Carroll gets it to Manor. D'Angelo apparently. Put it across too soon in my basket. seconds to go in the half. Pierce with the rebound and basket. 31-28. Cougars at the half here on Viewers Supporting Hometown Cable. little routine with lots of music. Uh, unfortunately, we don't do music unless we're covering uh, something that's entirely music. And we know we get what we get on YouTube, but we've had events blocked out because of music copyright problems on YouTube. So. Recording music at all costs, plus uh, I'm going to show this on the cable. The cable company expects us to pay for any copyright problems on the uh, music. So we don't show events that have the music. So rather than not show this game, we'll uh, not record the music. Basket Manor, 33-30. Left the 
Freshman. Thirty-three, thirty-two was the score. Ball was on Duffield with second. Manor shooting two. Gets them both. That's the first for the Cougars tonight. Rolling, Prairie, up for Brown. Holy cow, nice play. Prairie to Brown. 37-32. Brown again. So what the problem is. Uh oh, that'll have to be repaired. While Dale Menard was out looking for a stepladder, Mike Recor grabbed a chair and fixed the problem. Cast on his foul. Oh. Field's third foul. And you can't be picking up those kinds of fouls. There's fouls underneath the basket. Yeah. Ten point Cougar lead. Chiefs have brought it down to two, and Cougars have brought it back up to ten. 5:45 to go, third quarter. Up his third foul. <laughs> Falling in for Pierce. Last line rebound. Point Cougar lead 44 32. Amazing shot. Cougars take it away. Foul down on the McCoy. Hiding, there he is, Jim Tierney. <laughs> Anor hits the first. Hits them both. 46-32. Back, <laughs> Four forty seven to go there. Miguel with a steal. Right up the ground from Stephen Garrow. 48-32, 3-2 margin. 
Time out. <laughs> and the score, but the score won't count. Three to two margin. Uh, Cougars have scored 60% of the points thus far here with 422 left in the third. One thirty two. Now the steal. And now get to the line. This is the first. on P4. Missed them both. And rebounded D'Angelo. The basket by D'Angelo Pollowing. 51-34. Back to that 3-2 to two ratio. Rebound Castine. Last time, 3.22 to go, 17 point Cougar lead, third quarter. steal and they get it. Magoon picks it up. No luck. No luck. Ground to Manor. Fifty-five thirty-four, two thirty-nine to go, third quarter. Magoon rolls off the rim. Off the Cougars. The floor back in. Rebound. 
Three pointer. Andrew Pellerin. 55-37. Go. Fouls on KA. Three point play, 58-37. 22 to go third. Go down Manor. Down shot blocked. Down it. Foul on Perry. Four seconds to go to the third quarter. But they should look for one shot. Eight seconds. No travel. point lead for the Cougars after three here on viewer supported hometown cable 60-39. quarter underway. Cougars with a 29 point third quarter. We went from 31 to 60 points. That's scoring the Chiefs 29 to 11. Shot. 
you got the comfortable lead, you take some time off the clock when you bring the ball down, unless you've got a short shot. Big crowd here. Senior night. the ground. 25 point Cougar lead. 6.26 to go. Field's fouled. Yarrow pick up, I think, his fourth. Yep, his fourth. Cisco coming back in. He replaced Magoon. Three-point play, Duffield, 64-42. Field. 66 44. Five minutes remaining. Spalding. Carroll hits the first. Field. And a three pointer for Gerald, seventy one forty four. Saved by Manor. Seventy-three, forty-four. 
Petrovicin. Yeah, Bova's out there. I think everybody on Saranac has been on the floor. Three ten. Three remaining. Thirty one point to the lead, seventy five forty four. Fifteen to go. Two to go. Miller will step on the floor. The team with a 31 point lead. Crown with the rebound. Under a minute now. I think the two seniors are probably going to be coming out. And if we get a stoppage. So Magoon and Castine in. <coughs> Manor and Garrow will set on senior night <laughs> for the final 39. seconds. Basket by 15. That's Spear. Spear <coughs> with a trade. Or a long two, I guess. 
23, thanks for watching, supporting, viewers supported local television, TV worthy of your support. Thank you for being there.